under procurement there are three things procurement will be done under ordering first you are going to make ordering this is the ordering once you are going to done with ordering the 10% progress is done manufacturing 70% and delivery 20% same like you are going to order a pizza you are going to order pizza a lot all of you friends are sitting together and you urge that you need to order a pizza so you decide the taste fajita whatever chicken tikka whatever so ordering one of your friend make a call call is connected and you are going to select which taste you want to eat tonight so order is placed so that 10% job is done now that pizza company is going to produce they are going to you know uh, cook that flavor that pizza put in the oven take it out put all the accessories your required ketchups and all that pack it and 70% prog done you are going call again then sir when is it going to be delivered there are no, okay, the pizza is done so you are getting, telling to your friends okay order is ready it means 80% work is done now only 20% is behind delivery did it help you to understand in that way same is going to happen in the procurement in the modern era pizza delivery is actually quite understandable for procurement same thing i'm going to now but uh, we are going to understand ordering over here how it is going to happen ordering float inquiry same a friend is going to call okay so you your company actually need electric boards distribution boards spools whatever item is float inquiry means that you have different kind of suppliers in the market same like you have different kind of pizza brands pizza hut broadway you have uh, dominos you have many other local brands and all that same you they can provide you a pizza same like in a company a certain item you require distribution board you need to make advert ad advertisement that process is called float inquiry mean you are going to advertise that you require distribution board right the first process then all the suppliers who are going to read that advertisement who are attached with your company we can call them suppliers or vendors they are going to submit bids so your company is going to receive bids okay they are going to get back to you right and then issue tbe to company like your technical bid evaluation actually 20 people are going to get back to you that we can provide you electric board we can provide you cables whatever item you require but you are going to ask your company to evaluate these 20 suppliers it's not like that you can order every single person okay or i will give you or no no only single person required you require pizza from single shop simple it's not like that one slice from pizza hard one slice from domino's one slice from some other brand no 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 you need all complete product from single supplier so you ask your company to evaluate the procurement people are going to evaluate quality people then they are going to evaluate all the bids 20 bids out of those 20 bids they are going to approve one bid only one bid 19 are rejected on the basis of prices and technicalities technical bid evaluation means who is going to provide you most feasible and economical item with most optimized standards okay issue po purchase order it's not co po it's purchase order Maybe you are understanding a pizza, so then buy a bottle P.O. No, no, no. P.O. Purchase order. You are going to issue purchase order that one guy. Okay. Who's winning that bid. Okay. So after the order is done, 10% is done. And then your, this is actually, okay, just give me a moment. Next phase is actually manufacturing. By mistake, this is on animation. So manufacturing. The next phase is manufacturing. So in manufacturing, that guy is going to uh, re receive receipt of vendor documents. You are going to actually uh, uh, see all those documents, approval of documents. If you require to manufacture that, that thing, they are going to prepare drawings and all that. This is actually oil and gas field oriented procurement. So you need to memorize all these things. This is not a difficult thing. It's a very simple thing. Place sub orders, 
you have to keep receipts for the payments. Manufacturing will be started. Final inspection. Okay. Final is inspection means you are going to make uh, send your representative who is going to visit that factory or manufacturing area and they are going to inspect and then external works if any extra work required or miscellaneous work after that delivery 30 percent items on board if you are going to order this from other country then receipt at port then at site so this is the complete process of the procurement so i'm going to share with you people in um, wbs and still i can First of all, long lead items. I am more concerned with long lead items. I will break down long lead items into piping spools because most of the companies piping, then we need uh, distribution boards. Then we need instrumentation. Okay, these items, we can categorize maybe three items, 15 items, but as a planning engineer, you have to keep one more thing. Uh, what, what, what is that? Procurement people are going to provide you all the list, long lead items, but what you think uh, you have to keep in your mind, every time you are going to incorporate, you have to consult with your client because a lot of times client are going to say that you don't need to add bulk items into your project schedule. They are going to separately on Excel sheet, they are going to see the progress of bulk items. Because once you are going to add bulk items in Primavera P6, it's going to make your project schedule very, very comprehensive. That is not required one. So as per client, if client is agree, you can exclude this one bulk items. And moreover, you can take the, uh, you know, uh, permission, you can take the approval, what, kind, what long lead items I need to add in my project schedule. That's it. Okay. Because you need to show the dependency. So let's say I have shown over here uh, bulk uh, long lead items. I can show over here. Just give me a moment. Like uh, electrical uh, RTU. There is also one component. Okay. So these are the components we want to take under long lead items. Okay. So un under everything, if I will click over piping, I need to break down and piping into ordering. So see, ordering. Then piping under manufacturing, manufacturing. Okay. Then piping under what is there? Ordering, manufacturing. Then what is there? Delivery. Now you understand, right? So I'll be share, sharing in activities window and we can see that uh, under ordering, what I can see, click add button, float inquiry. Yes, and then we can have flow under float inquiry. We can have uh, receive bids like they are going to then issue TBE evaluation, technical bid evaluation. Then I'm going to click add approval TBE, then purchase order issue. For bulk items, only this, this much process. If you want to add any bulk items, no need to make ordering, manufacturing, only these activities are okay. Okay, like if you want to add anything. But here, manufacturing, receipt, vendor documents, okay. Then again, I'm going to share these steps one by one, okay. Approval of documents, Place sub orders one by one. We can approval of docs, then add approval of documents, and then the next thing is place sub orders. Okay, and then again click on this. Place receipt of suborder material manufacturing. Uh, yes. Approval of suborders. Then manufacturing. 
um, start manufacturing and then inspection. And then add and external works are extra works. And then under delivery, just give me a moment. I'll be sharing. Yes, Jonathan, you can you can write your doubt over here. Don't worry. Along with it, you can write delivery uh, items on board, receipt at board, items items on board. This is actually process. Actually, you have to follow items on board and then delivery on site. Delivery on site. The construction area where you require that item. Okay. So that's what you require. Yes, yeah, right. Jonathan, just write your thing on the chat box area. Okay. Okay. This is the procedure you have to write and you have to memorize as well within your. Um, you know, these uh, work packages and all that. Okay. So I will click get back to WBS again one time and I will make sure about the understanding. This template would be called WBS template or you can see scope baseline. Okay. End of this video, I just want to highlight that if you want to learn this uh, full training, full advanced level that how you can perform as a planning engineer in the industry of Gulf region, Saudi Arabia, Qatar, Oman, and uh, how you can pass job interviews. Because I know that watching these videos can leave you a lot of questions in your mind. So I am offering a live sessions uh, about construction industry planning and uh, plant shutdown industry planning and control. So I would like to invite you in my full interactive sessions. Enroll now.